Comparison Detailed Cars of 2024 Kia EV9 GT Line vs 2023 Rivian R1S The 2024 Kia EV9 GT Line 3 row electric SUV represents the largest and most luxurious Kia to date, and aims to redefine the brand for the electric era. The 2023 Rivian R1S brings the concept of the adventure SUV to the EV market with style, power, and incredible capability. The Kia EV9 is soon to be the latest large SUV to bring boxy back, following other squared-off SUVs like the Nissan Pathfinder, Land Rover Defender, Mahindra Scorpio, and GWM Tank 300. What none of those cars have, but the EV9 does, is a fully electric powertrain, which makes it a unique offering in the seven-seat large SUV landscape, at least for now. The only other fully electric seven-seaters Australians can buy right now are the Mercedes-Benz EQB, which is tiny compared to the EV9, and the LDV MIFA 9 and Mercedes EQV vans, which don't have the EV9 SUV appeal. Coming soon, the Mercedes-Benz EQS large luxury SUV, which is almost three times the expected price of the EV9, will also join the seven-seat club. So it's fair to say that the Kia EV9 will be bringing the electric revolution to full-size family SUVs when it lands locally in the last quarter of 2023. An expected $100,000 price tag puts it above similar-sized seven-seat internal combustion rivals like the Hyundai Palisade, Mazda CX-9 and Nissan Pathfinder and closer to prestige offerings from Audi, BMW, and Mercedes-Benz. Kia doesn't see this as a problem, saying instead that the EV9 will put Kia on the shopping lists of more affluent buyers looking for an EV family SUV solution. The second model from upstart Rivian. The 2023 R1S SUV features three rows of seats, an upscale cabin, and an all-electric powertrain. Like other EVs including its sibling, the R1T pickup truck the R1S is blisteringly quick, hitting 60 miles per hour in just 3.1 seconds in our testing. On-road handling is agile for an SUV, but we wish the R1S drove better more like the R1T pickup it shares its mechanicals with. Unlike other EVs, the R1S offers legit off-road capability that rivals many gasoline-powered rivals such as the Land Rover Discovery. The standard air suspension can be adjusted to give up to 15 inches of ground clearance, and the quad motor model features an electric motor for each wheel, which maximizes the driver's control in a variety of terrains. The Tesla Model X wishes it were half as capable. The R1SS range is good too with the standard battery pack giving about 260 miles of driving per charge and the optional large pack boosting that number up to 316 miles. Kia is remaining tight-lipped about pricing ahead of the EV9S Australian market launch in October-November 2023. Our Intel suggests a price tag in the low dash $90,000s for the entry-level EV9 air rear drive with a 160kW electric motor driving the rear wheels in a 76kWh battery pack. The R1S launched late in the 2022 model year, so it carries over to 2023 with no changes. Rivian has pushed out several over-the-air software updates already, which have activated features such as camp mode, pet mode, and soft sand and snow driving modes. Pricing and which one to buy. Adventure, $79,800. Adventure All-Terrain, $89,400. Launch Edition, $91,800. Pricing for the top spec EV9 GT Line AWD, with the bigger 99.8 kWh battery pack and dual 160 kW motors limited to a combined 283 kW, is therefore likely to be over $120,000 plus on-road costs. A third variant is expected between those two, which will be called Kia EV9 Earth. This middleman will carry a 99.8 kWh battery and could be rear or all-wheel drive. Kia Australia won't confirm either way just yet, but our money's on the all-wheel drive setup. For now, the Adventure model is the only trim available, although a lower-cost Explore trim should join the lineup soon. We'd upgrade to the large battery pack for $6,000 to unlock the R1 SS maximum 352-mile driving range, otherwise, the Adventure trim comes with all the SUV's best features as standard. An EV9 GT flagship has also been confirmed by Kia's global CEO and is due sometime in 2024. Kia Australia has expressed an interest in this higher performance variant, but very little is known about the mechanicals or electricals. If the GT variant of the smaller EV6 is any guide, 
then it could have a 270 kW rear motor and 160 kW front motor for a combined output of 430 kW. Kia claims the F6 GT can accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in 3.5 seconds. The F9 in non-GT form weighs more than 2,600 kg, roughly 400 kg more than the F6 GT, so if it does share those motors it will be slower. We'd expect something in the 4s given the fastest current F9 does 0 to 100 km per hour in 5.3 seconds. With all F9 variants likely to be priced above the energy efficient vehicle luxury car tax threshold of $89,332, which applies from July 1, 2023, anyone keen to lease the F9 cannot take advantage of EV incentives. Kia is keeping Australian specifications close to its chest pre launch, but we'd expect plenty of features and equipment to justify its six figure drive away price. Kia Australia says it has received more than 5,000 expressions of interest in the EV9, which suggests it will have no trouble finding homes for the 1,200 to 1,300 units coming in the first 12 months. The R1S shares its battery pack, powertrain, much of its styling, and many of its specs with its R1T pickup sibling. The standard powertrain is the dual motor setup which makes a combined 600 horsepower and comes standard with all-wheel drive. With 835 horsepower on tap, the available quad motor powertrain makes the R1S mighty quick, hitting 60 miles per hour in 3.1 seconds at our test track. With this upgraded powertrain, the R1S has an electric motor at each wheel, providing all-wheel drive and impressive off-road capability. All models feature an adjustable air suspension, which allows ground clearance to vary from 8 to 15.0 inches. In our testing we were put off by both the R1SS out of sync steering responses and its poor ride control, which at times was excessively floaty and in other situations caused odd front to rear porpoising. The R1T pickup is far superior in these areas, so we know that this chassis has the ability to be much better behaved. 2024 Kia F9 GT Line TCC Likes Boxy Styling 300 Mile Range Quick DC Fast Charging 2023 Rivian R1 STCC likes Incredible power Incredible off-road capability Spacious 2024 Kia F9 GT Line TCC dislikes, price Feature set Will OTAs cost money? 2023 Rivian R1 STCC dislikes, no AM or satellite radio No Apple CarPlay or Android Auto Long wait Fuel economy City Coming soon. Highway. Coming soon. Interior dimensions. Front headroom, in. 41.1. Second hip room, in. 54.2. Front shoulder room, in. 60.6. Third leg room, in. 32.8. Second headroom, in. 39.7. Passenger capacity. 7. Third hip room, in. 42.8. Second shoulder room, in. 58.9. Front leg room, in. 41.4. Third head room, in. 38.6. Front hip room, in. 54.9. Third shoulder room, in. 51.1. Second leg room, in. 36.6. Exterior dimensions. Wheelbase, in. 121.1. Width. Max without mirrors, in. 81.8. Min ground clearance, in. 8.7. Length, overall, in. 200.8. Height, overall, in. 77.3. Cargo area dimensions. Cargo box, area, height, in. 33.7. Cargo area length at floor to seat 1, in. 84.7. Cargo volume to seat. 46.7. Cargo area length at floor to seat 3, in. 21. Cargo box width at wheel housings, in. 51.1. Cargo volume to seat 1. 104.7. Cargo area length at floor to seat 2, in. 57.8. Cargo volume to seat 3. 17.7. Cargo area width at belt line, in. 58.9. Brakes. Brake ABS system. Four wheel. Disc, front. Yes drum, 
Rear.